Battle Rap Society, we're here with the princess of URL. Shout out to Battle Rap Society, thank you for having me. We're here in ATL, actually at the bullpen event. URL over bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So last night, incredible event resolution. Tell you know, what? How, how do you feel about it? You know what? I hopped out the car. Then Smack was like, "Hey, security's gonna come get you." I said, "Security?" I was like, "I don't need no security." So I, I wound up. I decided to walk the line just to update people that was like far behind. Hey, you know, we're gonna start letting people in at one o'clock. And. It was th the way that they embraced the way that you guys embraced me was amazing. Like it was so amazing. It was so much love in ATL. They were excited. A lot of females came out. Lots. And yeah, I never. To be honest, I don't think I ever seen that many females at an event. Right. It's, and, a, it's ATL, man. That's what. Yeah, a lot of a lot of the ladies came out, and it was just something that you had to see for yourself. Wrapped around the building. The line was wrapped around the building. It was amazing. Um, yeah, you know, um, as far as the, I, I, I am hearing a lot of things about ATL. For me, I want to say ATL is great shit. I want to move here. <laughs> um, but I would say the people got into the building late. I think that the building didn't really fully understand battle rap, the impact of battle rap. Like when smack is coming, we coming. You no doubt. And yeah. I, I think that was it because it was as um, the security was doing the check. And I think that was the thing. Because as far as um, URL staff, we had a lot of us outside scanning people, getting the tickets, trying to get everybody where they need to go. So everybody was with their wristband ready to get in, but it was more so of the check. So I say that to say when people are standing outside, 6.30, 7 o'clock, for something that don't really start until one, three o'clock, you get a little tired. Right. You get a little tired, and that's anywhere. That's anywhere you go. You're standing. There's no. There's no seating at battle rap events unless you was in the upper deck. Oh no, we had a table. Yeah, unless you was in like the kind of the upper deck area or like a little to the side. And VIP sold out too fast. Anyway. Yeah. So I think. Um, you know what? People are saying that, hey, ATL is the crowd. I do think the, the battles was great back and forth to me. I think each battle was a great back and forth. Now, just because I like certain shit don't mean other people's gonna like certain things. Right. And it's more so, this is battle rap. Aside from attacking your opponent verbally and going back and forth, you're also there to perform. You gotta wake them up. Right. Like I used to always yell, wake up. You gotta, you gotta be able to wake them up. And I think Kayshawn is a good example of that because he went into the battle pretty late and the switching of flows, the changing, it, it gets you excited. Yeah. It gets you excited to be like, okay, what's next? Now you up, you reacting. You can't force reactions. No doubt. And battle rap been around for so long, they don't want to hear the, 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 the same setups or, you know, they don't want to hear that. So, you know, I do feel like you always have maybe out of 2,000, 4,000, you probably have that good 10 spread out that want to catch their moment and possibly boo or say something that's like wild, crazy for attention. Right. You know, we try to control it, but it's not much we can do when that happens. Um, but I thought the ATL crowd was pretty good. And in the building, you heard the roar. Maybe it didn't pick up exactly like that on camera, but they was good. They was excited. And anybody that come out seven o'clock in the morning, wait on that line, and ATL is hot, baby. No it's doubt. It's hot, you know. So I, I enjoy ATL. So I tell me it. how you uh, had the Cassidy and Goods. That was the Cassidy first round was retarded. It was. It was retarded. He came in. Kind of like I like a confident nigga. He came in confident. You know the crowd was cheering. He he. He let them lower down so you could get it off. But then you got Goods. Goods has that star quality. Goods don't even have to rap for you to be excited. Like Yeah, he took yeah. his jacket off and it you was... Know, I feel like the nigga yeah. know where the light hit him right. You know, the, the jewelry on is glistening. Like, it just looked good. Goods' whole presentation looks good yeah. in itself. And... Cassidy first round, amazing. But then Goods came with an amazing first round. Yeah. But then Cassidy did, I think in the, it was the second or third, he did a scheme with the battle, you know, all the, all the battle rap bloggers. 
So it did show that he was he was trying to, you know, be have some something familiar. But then yeah. he had another round where it's like we ain't never touch a mill and da 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 da. Somebody the body on the body on the pole. No yachts in Dubai and shit like that. Body on the we pole. We don't relate. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we don't relate, Cass. We ain't been there yet. Then good do talk that same get money talk, but it's from another level where we could relate to understand it. it. We could feel like we 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 close to it. And I feel like Goods, Goods knew, Goods went over the crowd because his rounds was more so speaking for the people. Right. He, he kept saying like, yo, you got paid X, Y, Z, but you still standing here with me. So what does that really mean? Right. And I just think that that alone was just like, word. So it don't really matter what Cassidy talking about because that's facts. Right. That's facts. You are standing here. It doesn't matter. We're equal. Right now we equal. We gonna, we gonna fight this out. And, you know, I thought for the first round, Cassidy did great. I do I do have goods winning um, 3-0. Mm -hmm. If y'all wanna debate the first, you can. Um, Cassidy's first was really long, and that's something I was worried about too. Um, goods is not one that really try to complain during battles, so I knew he wouldn't really complain about the time. But I was hoping Cassidy, in his second and third, if you already losing them, you don't try to do an extended clip. You can't right. keep rapping. Right. You lost them. They're tired. They want you gotta, you know, he, his his flow was kind of consistent to where it wasn't like. It kind of felt like he went back to tw 2006 in the second and third. Yeah. His first was 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 new. It was upbeat. It was different. Yeah. Kind of backstepped the, the, in the second and third to that he more had disaster like, flow. Oh, what we doing you right know? right and i feel like everybody on that stage yeah some people got booed but everybody i feel like was given a fair chance to get their shit off no doubt what happens that second and third that means you just lost them it'd be different if you getting booed out the first right if you get booed out the first then we got a problem atl what y'all doing he got love in the first yeah he yeah. got love in the first now if you go into the second and third and atl's booing it's just like okay it's the crowd at this point and they wasn't doing it yeah. You know, you, you you probably earned your booing. So, yeah. Well, I hope with the success of Resolution and how quickly it sold out, that, you know, that cements us. So yeah, it cements us as a place that Smack will come back for oh, more yeah. events because uh, the ATL showed love for URL. We love, right. we do love the URL. Right. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, and it's beautiful out here. Yeah, it is nice. It's beautiful. Yo, the venue, they, the venue that round the food, though. Uh, they food. They ran out. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think staff in the venue, they just didn't know. They, I don't think they knew what, what to what was in the store. Know. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes when you hear battle rap, you're not knowing, like, it's big. Well, the 1,500, 2,000 yeah, the, people, the right? The people gonna know, but these business people, they're stuck in their little business corner. Right. So they probably ain't know. Like, oh, people are just gonna come here, are gonna be in and out. No, this is a show. These guys are working hard, putting on a show. You got three rounds, you got surprises happening. You know, a lot of people that battle rap saw was out here, like Ghostface Killer. Ghostface Killer came out. People was coming out. Vince Carter, yeah. Yeah, people came out. They came out with support. I mean, I like ATL. Hey, you well, know? we love the URL. We love battle rap, period, especially right. at the Battle Rap Society. So it's, you know, I, I cover the local leagues, the local talent that eventually will feed to the URL. Right. But it is good when the major leagues comes to the city. Yeah. And, you know, it, it's rough traveling when you have... You know your personal life, maybe a job on the side, and but I love it. I love that we're able to travel, and you know, Smack Beasley Chico, they make it happen. No man is left behind. If you work hard with them, you know they make sure. Congratulations on you! I know you got a a new a, a position yes, lately. Yes. Yes, I work with Vibe Magazine. So exciting, and I can only give thanks to um, URL. You no know, I feel like. Yeah, I put in the work. I put in the work to get here that, you know, maybe sometimes the fans want to overlook because it's just like, you're the only female. Where did you come from? Who you're fucking? Real bitches ain't got to fuck to get to the top. That's just what it is. Uh, yep, exactly. When I met them. We vibed out. And from there, Smack said, yo, I want Nunu with me all the time. That's just what it was. All right. That's what it was. And I was around, so I started picking up my own way. I managed check cashing for eight years, so I could handle money. I know how to manage, I know how to create some type of order. I have amazing ideas that they're open to hearing about like trailer ideas, just whatever 
Whatever they need me to do, it gets done. You need me to right. fix somebody. Whatever they need me to do, it gets done. That ain't the title. That's this bitch get shit. Olivia Pope. I wrote for 100 Bars Magazine. From there, I did Riders Magazine, which was like a booty magazine. And I came in there talking about battle rap. So right. that was printed. It was in like subway stations. So I've been seen on BET in the Loaded Lux video. I bought Drake out. There's a numerous things that just gets overshadowed, I guess, because I'm a female. And I'm not a ring car girl, so this is what happens. But the guys know the work that I put in. Then I started my own YouTube. And even for you or anybody that's watching, when I started my YouTube, people kept stealing my content because I didn't think monetize it. It's monetized now, so don't try that shit. But don't worry if you getting 500 or 1,000, 600. Don't worry about the views. Worry about the work that you're putting out because all it takes is that one person to see it and be a light to go in a different direction. I've seen it and they loved it and now I work with them. I have my own show. No co-host. I'm not no co-host. It's my show. What I want and yeah, my first interview they tried to give me like a an established artist to interview and I was like, no, nah, we gotta bring down Smack White. That's where I'm from. Right. And yeah, my first interview is with Smack. It should be dropping soon. Right now we're working on the logo and beats for my intro. So yeah, it's gonna be dope. Well, Nundu, thank you so much. Better Rap Society, we appreciate you. Thank you, Better Rap Society. All right. Have a good day. <laughs>